the exhibition of next generation robots at IROS 2023 in the United States. Updated Humanoids, Robotic Insects, a new robotic backpack with four limbs that can give humans superpowers. A new artificial intelligence system that creates robots in seconds. These and other news from the world of robotics in this video. Let's start our today's video with the exhibition of the most advanced robots called IROS, which has already taken place in the United States. This event is aimed at supporting student startups and aspiring engineers, but also managed to attract major companies. And we will now tell you about them. One of the major companies attending IROS 2023 was Disney Research. Its engineers have been working for many years on robots capable of conveying emotions and evoking feelings in people, and they succeeded once again. The new robot, still unnamed, has already been dubbed a child of Wally and Eve. Its design was entirely developed by a neural network, and it seems artificial intelligence has learned to manipulate human emotions. The little robot hesitantly shuffled in place and approached visitors trustingly, so they could pet it. Everyone who interacted with the bot admitted that it literally seemed alive. But it's not just the robot that's interesting. Disney Research presented a new system at the exhibition that uses reinforcement learning to combine completely safe and self-safe behavior for both the machine and its surroundings in the real world, with expressive character movements as envisioned by an animator. The system can repeatedly train the robot's movements, making small changes in things like motor performance, weight distribution, and so on. It ensures that no matter what the robot encounters in the real world, it will not only know how to behave, but also how to behave in accordance with the character it embodies, Share your thoughts in the comments. Did the Disney robot manage to impress you? Engineers from Kim Lab, as promised, showcased their interactive robotic backpack propers at the exhibition. This robotic backpack system equipped with interchangeable additional limbs is designed to grant superpowers to humans. However, to achieve this, a complex control system needs to be developed, allowing simultaneous control of various actions involving four additional limbs in addition to the person's own two hands. Engineers are currently working on this system. The system has been named Multi-IMU, but its capabilities are far from those of Dr. Octopus for now. The engineers from the Kim Lab company also presented a new development, a robot waiter and home assistant. It is the result of the collaboration between Kim Lab and Hyundai Robotics. The mobile base used for this robot is the Hyundai Robotics B1. On each side of its body, there are mounts for arms, and on top there is a mount for a possible head or camera. But why not add an arm there as well? The engineers decided. The robot can reach and deliver items, as well as clean up by lifting everything unnecessary from the floor without human intervention. Additionally, the developers from Kim Lab have created a new robotic gripper inspired by nature. Now try to guess which animal it is inspired by. The passive gripper easily handles various objects, its design is borrowed from a dog, more precisely its jaws. Our faithful friends can indeed effortlessly grasp objects in midair, but replicating this in a robot is a first. Now we know what kind of gripper should be on a robot arm for robo-dogs. Another humanoid robot showcased at the exhibition was Hector, developed by the Dynamic Robotics Laboratory and Control at the University of Southern California. This robot is open source and designed to be an economical, compact, and powerful hardware platform for a wide range of humanoid robot developers. The Hector project aims to provide not only a reliable testing platform, but also a software infrastructure. In essence, soon, every engineering university will have not only its robot dog, but also its humanoid robot for research purposes. Another confirmation of this new reality is the humanoid robot Bruce, developed by Westwood Robotics, Bruce is an open-platform humanoid robot designed for research and education in the field of robotics. It is engineered to be reliable, functional, and user-friendly with excellent dynamic characteristics. The robot is already available for purchase. The Animal Inspired Motion and Robotics Lab received an award at IROS for their robot designed for rescue missions. This tiny insect-like bot can change its shape and move in all directions, adapting to the terrain and confined spaces. The robot named McClary has a body length of just 20 millimeters and weighs 0.1 gram. It has four independent leg modules with two degrees of freedom, each driven by piezoelectric actuators. The legs are connected in a closed kinematic chain through passive joints in the body, providing passive compliance to adapt its shape to external constraints. 
Another student project showcased at the exhibition was a whole body imitation learning system for a humanoid robot. This approach is gaining popularity and is being used in major robotics companies. The concept involves a person using teleoperation to demonstrate tasks to the robot, which then replicates the actions, generalizing and applying the experience to similar tasks. Engineers employed a full body control device called Tables to control the robot, with Jackson being the chosen test subject. The system is not yet fully developed. In the future, it will be able to collect long-term data based on pose optimization while simultaneously moving the robot's limbs. This process will consider minimizing the torque at the body's joints and controlling the contact force. Overall, it appears that universal humanoid robots are becoming increasingly attainable. Let's move on to other news. A breakthrough in robotics has been achieved by American scientists. They have developed an algorithm based on artificial intelligence that uses a technique called compressed evolution to design robots in a matter of seconds. Moreover, it can be deployed on a regular computer. You simply need to provide the artificial intelligence with the desired characteristics of the robot, and it will almost instantly develop the optimal device construction. The algorithm is not bound by human biases and prejudices. It strictly follows the principles of evolution. Engineers asked the artificial intelligence to create a robot from scratch that could walk on a flat surface. Starting with a rectangular piece of material, the algorithm generated several successive designs, each based on computer simulated successes and failures of the previous projects. After 26 seconds and nine such generations, the system arrived at a design that could traverse half its body length in a second using three rows of legs. The robot might look primitive, but the sole objective set for the artificial intelligence was the ability to walk. Perhaps this approach will help solve all or at least some of the challenges faced by roboticists today, and the resulting robots could potentially amaze us all. The Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory at the University of California, Los Angeles, is creating the perfect chef robot. Why is it perfect? Because it combines two opposing approaches to kitchen robots. It matches a robot-optimized environment with a pair of hands capable of handling kitchen tools, just like a human. Engineers typically either try to create a robot optimized for a regular kitchen or design an automaton with a limited repertoire. The developers decided to combine both approaches and create a system that can cook various dishes as deliciously as a human, performing individual actions just like a robot can. It can use various tools for cooking, as well as unique chemical sensors that can, for example, determine the freshness of ingredients and the doneness of dishes. This is probably a robotic equivalent of the human nose and taste receptors. Cooking has been a hot topic in robotics, considering the number of startups working in this market. Sooner or later, we will find robots preparing food in cafes and fast food restaurants. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video impressed you the most. If you found something new and interesting in this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you next time.